in the air. I don't want to help. You don't speak English. Great. Look, I need to find someone. Her name is Samantha. She looks a bit like me, I suppose. Well, more like me than she looks like you. I see more no. I say not like that. I'm not sure you understand. I think I'm lost. Can you help me? I so may not. Oh no. I am I saying that called Harbour. I didn't see me. That's all about that. <laughs> oh my. Say no more. Lead the way. Look at this wreck. All my gears trashed. No water, no rations, unarmed, in the desert on another planet, following a purple-faced alien with bug eyes. Oh well, if he's all the way out here, surely it can't be too far to the next settlement. Peaceful out here, isn't it? Sleeping under the stars like this. Takes me back to Afghanistan. Jesus, what's that? Like nine years ago. It's basically an entire lifetime. Feels good to be back. Kinar Haflon Fonte Lima Kalima Maniyon Fonte Sipta Bila Where are we going? Is she talking to us? Stop asking annoying questions. Fan Capdolita Somnila. San Sima Fonte Gani. Gani von Zulan Gold Harbor. Golita Sani Mosa. Enough of this. What the hell? What'd you just do? Where's she gone? What? What are you talking about? I'm sitting right here. No. That shouldn't be. That's not the way it works. You shouldn't remember. I shouldn't remember. You've done this before. She must be adapting. Have you ever done that to me? Or someone that I know? Quiet! That's 
since the last time we will speak of this. Am I understood? Do you understand? is this place? Huh? Mila Speco. What? Oh, those tokens. One moment. I've got one here somewhere. Ah. There you go. Frank, you better be here. getting closer to some sort of civilization. That's a yes. You call it a cold harbor. Oh, you are kidding me. You speak English? Only little. Me listen, me understand better. Why didn't you say something earlier? Very tired earlier. No, not so tired. Fine. Well, tell me something about cold harbor. A place. Many people. Sure. So, what is this place anyway? I mean, why is there this portal underneath the ground that led me here? You know, though. We have not enough money to travel far. We only come hold harbor for how you say, uh, no limit, Texas Holden. <laughs> how do you know what that is? Very popular and cold harbor. Win money, lose money. Very painful, very fun. Hmm. Maybe Samantha's got something to do with that. Where can I sign up for a game? Very high building. Man in office, show you. Cold Harbor. You're welcome. I go now. What? That's it? You're not going to show me around? No. No time. Already late. Well, thanks for getting me this far. Good luck. Try not to die. Remember me? Sorry. You're mistaking me for someone else. Oh, sorry. I haven't got my human face on. How about now? You're him? You're the guy from the station. The grumpy old git who fell over. You're Frank! I should box your ears in, you terrible bastard! Okay, now settle down. I thought my brother gave you my apology.
It doesn't stop me being any less mad about it. By the way, thanks for meeting me at the entrance, making me walk around this place on my own. How'd you think I was going to find you? Uh, sorry, uh, I've been a bit snowed under. There's been a lot of new customers interested in vaping round here. Does it look like I care? I haven't got time to mess around. Have you got what I'm after? Come on, I've got to get back. Right, of course. You're going to need to use this bracelet. Put it on your wrist and link hands with the person you want to switch bodies with. Pretty simple, really. Oh, but just FYI, you can only use it once. Just saying. Just this? It better work. It's what I used on you and old matey. All right. So, how do I get back then? You're going to see me off? What do you mean? Just go back the way you came and use your return ticket. Return ticket? You do have one, right? No. Come on. Just give me a new one. Oh dear. Uh, sorry, I don't have one. What? No, 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 bullshit. Come on, hand one over. I'm serious. Those things cost an arm and a leg. Does it look like I'm made of money? Look, your best bet is to speak to the head council. Explain your situation. I don't know, charm them. Who knows, maybe they'll take pity on you. Let me ask you a question. If you must. That time I saw you go into your house and I was banging on the door. I knew you were with someone. It was that boy we saw underneath your house, wasn't it? I know him. What was his name? Dana. You are so confused. A silly little girl. You're lucky you have someone like me to look after you, to put up with your nonsense. I should never have come with you. Careful. No, I'm done listening to you. I remember them. You're a monster. Why? Because you're mine. And they got in the way. Now shut up, unless you want to end up like the rest of them. Excuse me, are you two here to sign up for the poker tournament? Help me! What's going on here? Are you with him? He's a murderer! My daughter has a very active imagination. Please. Coming with me. She's mine. I'll just come back later. <laughs> 
So let me get this straight. You've swapped bodies with someone younger, fitter and healthier than you. You've shaved 20 years off your life, dodged a heart attack and you want to switch back. Because... You put it like that. I don't know, I'm, I'm just trying to do the right thing. Well, I guess it won't matter when you're dead, will it? What are you doing here again? I'm supposed to be rescuing someone. Bit ironic, isn't it? Been here five minutes and now I need saving. Oh well, she's probably dead anyway. I can't believe I killed him. You did the right thing. Hello? Hello? Guard? Can we talk? I'm not supposed to be in here. There's, there's been a terrible misunderstanding. You're wasting your time. They probably can't even understand what you're saying. You can wallow in your own self-pity if you want, but I'm not giving up yet. I've got a daughter to get back to. We know. That's the tenth time you've mentioned her. You don't have a family? Yeah. Married. A little boy as well. Divorced, I take it. Or are you one of those mums that just leaves a kid with a dad while you do your own thing? Oh, shut up, will you? You don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, I know all too well, believe me. Stop it! Both of you! There's no point arguing. Of course you'd say that. You're the reason we're all in here. You're the murderer. Wow. Harsh. Yeah. So sorry it wasn't me. No. You're right. I'm the one who killed him. I should take the fall. No, look. I'm sorry. I'm just stressed, that's all. We've been through a lot. We should stick together. He's right. It's only a matter of time until we're questioned. It won't help to be at each other's throats. Let's just see what tomorrow brings. Las futa bin ganifa. Molly read sit kim han. Suni falima kasabron hulan sika feel himakutan. Lusa ban. Sina luta mon fika brino kisan. Foli kuna gari man fispa. Luka gon gari. What's he saying? Nothing good. Huka fon pisatula ini koni. Pita man sutalon farima kunu. Pita man yutifakali no pika plum notika. Pita man foko. Sami don di ma pulu. Lon sik fam halikil. Luka min filaman gift suka. For the high crimes of trespassing and murder in the first degree, I take the power that is vested in me by the city of Gold Harbor to sentence these intruders to death. I killed him. 
killed him. Let John and Mina go. They, they had nothing to do with this. Donna. Silence! This chamber need not hear from you. Solomon. Wait. Don't you want to know how we got here? You will find out in time. You'll never know if you kill us. I've got information. We don't need your information. We've got your entry vehicle. Utica Vasica. It's only a matter of time before we learn who sent you. Everyone all right? Oh, glad I didn't do that in my old body. I think the table broke my fall. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure I landed directly on the concrete. Oh. What the hell are you doing in my pub? Samantha? Who are you? Mira Fleck off! Behind here. Zinni Danu. Flag. Bring these up. You can come up now. You're Samantha. Haven't heard that name in a long time. So let me get this straight. Peter Hale sent you. That's right. Little P. Oh, that's a blast from the past. And weird. I'm surprised he still remembers me. I'm, what's it been, 40 years? Wait, I thought you two had a thing. <laughs> what? No, I mean, Pete was okay, but no. He didn't think that, did he? He did pour his entire fortune into find you. Shut up. Is he rich? What am I 
going to do when I get back? Have you got anyone you can stay with? A relative or friend? I feel like I should be crying. I should be, shouldn't I? You need some time to process what's happened. Listen, I don't know what to say to you. I'm sorry you came all this way, but I don't want to go back. I didn't want saving. My life's here. Maybe 20 years ago I would have been jumping for joy, but not now. Too much has changed. I've got a husband, kids, this place. You understand, right? I'm beginning to. I'm sorry that Pete is stuck in the past, but Jesus, it was 40 years ago. Let it go, mate. Life moves on. Some people don't want to let go. Well, I feel sorry for them. How can you feel happy with your lot if you're always looking back? It's not healthy. Right. <laughs> Look at me, the philosopher. No, you are right there. I think I've been guilty of that. I wanted this job more than anything. I thought that it would change things. <sighs> what a mess. People have been hurt. Killed even. Shh. Bailey. Dan must hate me for what I've done to him. I'm told he doesn't know about me. Jesus. Armchair philosopher, maybe, but definitely not a therapist. Sorry, I'm just having a mini meltdown here. Been there. Take it from me. It's never too late to pull it back. Anyway, what shall I tell Hale? If I get back, that is. Not that I give much of a shit anymore. <laughs> tell Pete that... I don't know. Tell him it's very sweet of him to do all this. Actually, don't say that. Sounds too condescending. I could just tell him that you're married with kids, but from time to time you still think about him. Something like that. That works. I'll tell you what. If I survive this operation, I'll come round and make sure you're okay. Alright? So you're definitely going to swap back into your body? let Jack die. I think you're really brave. Yeah. I am, aren't I? <laughs> okay, it's getting on. I can't keep the bar shut for much longer without starting a riot. Plus, happy hour is starting soon, so this place is going to get hectic. We get it. You've done more than enough. Thank you. Okay. Well, listen. The only way you're going to get out of here is through the portal chamber. What's that? The entrance is this big, ostentatious opening that looks like a flower. I mean, you really can't miss it. I know it. That's the way I came in. But guys, it's no cakewalk, all right? It's heavily guarded, probably even more so after what you did earlier. I'm not sure how you expect to get past them unnoticed. We've got this far. One way or another, we're getting home. Well, good luck. Okay, we've got two armed guards. What are you thinking? Take them out? It's too risky. That's got to be a last resort. Someone needs to create a diversion. I could do this. Sean! Hey! Fellas! What's he playing at? Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Oh, shit.
I wish I was too old for this shit! Are we just going to walk here in silence then? What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Let's start with the fact that we all almost died back there. It doesn't matter. It's done now. Donna's right. And it's probably a good idea none of us speak of this again. So, we just forget this ever happened? It's better that way. I don't ever want to think about that place again. John, listen. There are people who will make you shut up, all right? Take it from me. Fine. It's not as if anyone would believe us anyway. I don't know what you're complaining about. You got what you came for, didn't you? Have you decided what you're going to do? you want? You killed me. You let me down. Get out of my house. I've come to give you one last chance to redeem yourself for what you've done. You killed them all. Get out. But I can bring them back, Donna. I just need something from you. A promise. A contract. When you eventually meet your end, five, ten, Fifty years time from now, you'll join me here. You get to live the rest of your pathetic life with those who you call family and friends. But after that, you're mine. Forever. No. I won't do it. I don't care what you say. I'm not doing anything for you. You disappoint me, Donna. You hear me? Get out! I never want to see you again. And you never will. What 
What a complete mess. You've really embarrassed me here. I vouched for you, remember? I gave you your shot and this is what you do. As I said, she didn't want to come back. You expect me to believe that? I've had enough. We're done here. I'm putting you in a different department. It doesn't seem like I can trust you with anything important. <laughs> Don't bother. I quit. I only came so I could have the satisfaction of saying it to your face. <laughs> now that is funny. Surely you of all people should know I can't allow that. What are you going to do? Have me whacked? Just try it. Maybe you should look at these. I imagine they would make for good reading material for the people down at Scotland Yard. You've set me up. It's just business, Hughes. Now do as you're told. There's a good girl. Jack. Later, Molly. On Thursday, yeah? Yeah. Catch you later, mate. All right. Last one home to Rotten Turnip.